for him, it is all about his relationship to his Lord, his relationship to the people that are there with him. And uh, he really cares for the students and the seminary. He's full of so much joy and energy. He uh, integrated his leadership with uh, love and care. And I've never heard anyone say anything bad about Dr. Meyer. Just a true visionary and a great leader, a uh, person who loves this place with his whole heart and soul. I always wanted to be a pastor from little on. And so that meant having the seminary as a goal. I came to the seminary in 1969 as a student, went into parish ministry, never thought I'd be back here as a professor and president. So looking back at 70 plus years, Concordia Seminary has been a big, big part of my life and a dear part of my life. I think that Dr. Meyer has been a tremendous leader for Concordia Seminary over these past 15 years. I think he was the right man at the right time. I will consider it one of the highlights of my career to have served at Concordia Seminary under Dr. Meyer's leadership. He has a vision for this institution and he is able to inspire and mobilize people, including the faculty, to move towards that vision. Concordia Seminary was able to get through some incredibly difficult struggles and all kinds of things and he did it with grace and with that big smile that you just kind of it just sucks you in. And I don't know if there's anybody else in the Missouri Senate that, that could have led this place through those years like he did. Concordia Seminary is in a much better place today than it was in 2005. He knows what he wants to accomplish and he recognizes that it takes a team to accomplish the outcomes and the vision that he has. 2007, we renovated Wartburg Dining Hall, turned it into a student center. In 2012, we renovated the rest of the dining complex and named it the Bennett Center. In 2018, we dedicated the renovated library, the Christine K. Hazy Memorial Library. It's one of the premier theological libraries in the Western Hemisphere. He oversaw a complete revision of the Master of Divinity curriculum. He built the stable that we have the nativity in. He dug two and a half of our water features by hand himself. 15 years ago, we had basically one room doing IT and another room doing ed tech. Today, the whole first floor of Lober Hall is technology. Because of a bequest from uh, Eugene and Nell Finke, the chapel is going to have stained glass windows throughout. This is going to shape seminarians' uh, spiritual lives for generations to come. We are finishing the renovation of the 1926 faculty homes and making them energy efficient and places to live in again. The endowment has grown from 40 million to today 160 million and we are eternally grateful to the Lord and to the donors who made this possible. I, I can't think of a better role model for our students here to say, this is, this is what I want to be. I want to be someone that will serve and care for God's people in this place. Dr. Meyer's personality definitely comes through in the student life on campus. He's very involved in the events that we host on campus. You'll see him in a suit and tie from time to time, but you'll also see him uh, relaxing in his uh, you know, in his sweats and his, uh, and his big puffy jacket walking around campus. And uh, you'll see him always with a smile on his face, driving around on his golf cart, uh, saying hi to all the students. Well, I love our students. I like to banter. I'm a tease. And so we will always jab one another. They jab back at me, and, and, and that's fine. And they know when to take me with a grain of salt, and, but also when I use the Opa voice, they respect that too. I think one of the greatest contributions from my perspective uh, that Dr. Meyer has made is his real concern about serving the church all around the world. Being involved in helping support seminaries in other parts of the world with theological education and also making it possible for those uh, students from other countries to come here and study as well. I think that's been one of the greatest things that he's done for us. Yeah, I think Dr. Meyer and the entire day seminary has been reaching out the uh, Lutheran uh, congregations back in Africa through various ways. Uh, it could be like with financial support and also bringing uh, capable uh, students like myself uh, and uh, 
equip them and send them back to the mission field. So this is a really a very, very great experience I could uh, be a witness. Dr. Meyer's preaching style is very personal. He brings you into the story and makes you feel a part of the experience of the proclamation. He never ever takes any notes or anything like that with him and generally if he's preaching out of the New Testament he uses his Greek text, that's what he preaches out of. He's a very powerful preacher. He has shown me what it's like not just to memorize a text but to in truly internalize it so that you're not taking a text of the Bible and making some practical application for it but you're, you're beginning to see life through the Bible. It's a very comforting comforting thing when you hear Dr. Meyer preach, and it's a treat. Every time you kind of walk in chapel and you see Dr. Meyer's going to be preaching, like, oh, okay, good. This is, this is going to be a good sermon. To the credit of my wife, Diane, and Gail Zolman, and a lot of other people, the grounds are beautiful. And we have people come just to admire the grounds in, in spring, summer, and fall. The beautification of the grounds is, is a huge accomplishment and a huge uh, part of the legacy that the Myers will lead. In the last 15 years, we, we have water features on campus, we have community gardens, we plant thousands of tulips every year. Definitely they care about this uh, place, its beautification, and I know that the two of them have done a lot to really improve the atmosphere. You don't have to look very hard or to know why people walk around our campus. My favorite part is just seeing seeing how the landscape was able to change and become not just pretty, but functioning. Diane is an amazing presence on campus. She is a role model to all of the seminary students' wives here that says you have to be your own person. I mean, she is, she is behind the scenes. She is a tireless supporter of the seminary. She does the Sim Guild. She does um, her blog. Mrs. Meyer's just amazing, and she's just such a cheerleader for the seminary. I'm gonna miss the, having the Meyers around, yes. Very much so. So what's ahead? I think the immediate future is good for the seminary. Our campus is more beautiful than it has ever been. Our financial stability is certainly better than it has ever been. And he's really leading the charge so that we can make the changes necessary to encourage more students to come and think about uh, church work vocations. There's a great unity and sense of purpose on campus, the culture is very healthy. These things have put us in a place where we have a foundation that will let us move into the future and be adaptable. He has made sure that this seminary is well positioned for whatever comes next. Congratulations on your retirement, Dr. Meyer. I just want to wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you for your leadership, for your teaching. It has just been an incredible honor to be here at Concordia Seminary, working alongside of you and also learning from you. God bless you and Diane both. I pray God's richest blessings to you. I'm confident that, that you will continue to be a servant to the church and that the church will be blessed by everything that comes. So thank you and God's richest blessings every day from here until you see him in heaven. It's been a gift. This place has been a gift. I look back on this more humbling that, wow, we've had so many people who were just right there to drop everything and make this campus as good as it can possibly be. There were long days. There were fast days. It always happened that at the start of the school year in September, wow, we've got this whole long year stretching ahead of us. Next thing you know, it's commencement. So it's been fast, but, but we look back and, and, and we will say, it seems like a dream, but it was a wonderful time. And we thank the Lord and the church and the seminary for letting us humbly serve in this way. Dr. Meyer always uses the phrase, it's a great time to be in the church. This is a great time to be the church. It's a great time to be the church. It is a great time to be the church. Yeah, the institutional church is struggling in many ways, but it's the church of the Lord Jesus. If he's really alive as we say he is, then it's gotta be a great time to be the church. 
and specifically, it's a great time to be at Concordia Seminary. So only optimism and hope for the future. Thank you.